Esther and I took a, a little visit over to Yeshiva Day School a couple of years back before either kid was in school. I just randomly wandered into the playground where the little kids were playing and had a conversation with the teacher. And she summarized the entire school's philosophy to me, standing on one foot out in the playground. They don't do anything like a factory. There, there, there is no repetitive motion at Yeshiva Day School. Everyone is an individual. They're trying to sculpt personalities in people, not just little baskets of information. Since I was a little kid, I always found that rather silly and useless. Who really cares when the War of 1812 took place? Like, it's, it, you have to get along with each other. And you have to learn how to express your feelings in a, in a calm, organized manner. knew when it was time for our kids to go to school that Yeshiva Day School was the right choice for us. We see that the graduates are um, polite and well-mannered, well-spoken. They have wonderful midot, critical thinkers, and we know that they're set on the right path. I stood in the shadow of the big tree. Happy birthday, tree! There is nothing that I think any child likes more than when their parents come to school. Um, you can see it in the kids' faces when they see that their parents have come to be there for them. The staff is obviously not in this job for the salary, so it's very important since they do such an amazing job that they feel very, very appreciated. For Yeshiva Day School's teachers, this isn't a job. It's a calling that they're that they're filling, and everyone believes so deeply in what they do, um, and they do it with such love for learning and love for the kids that they work with, um, love for Judaism. I've done a couple of things with Mrs. Friedman already this year, and she's just so excited about everything that she wants to bring to the school. Um, she has such wonderful ideas. Wow, having parents in the classroom was really more than an added bonus, but it changed our curriculum. And she and Mr. Rothman were such a catalyst in that. Um, she jump-started making a community, bringing the parents in and collaborating on an ongoing basis with the teachers, and it's all thanks to them. When I show up, I don't just stand in the back of the room observing. I try to make sure that we have all have a good time together. I come out to recess, I'll come more often, a lot of laughing a lot of playing, and it just lightens the mood and makes children enjoy school a whole lot more. Okay, that's much warmer. <laughs> when do we get to play tetherball? It's gonna be hard to play tetherball. <laughs> it really turns a classroom into kind of a family. And that's the attitude and approach of the Yeshiva Day School, where it basically is one gigantic family. It's not an institution. And that's what's most important to Esther and I. I think it's a very unique place because the administration and the teachers really do listen to the parents. And that's extremely important. They're not following a guidebook. They are following a guidebook, but they're being very reasonable about it. The point is to love learning, love going to school. It shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't be something that they dread every day. We see it every morning when the kids go flying onto that school bus. They, um, everybody has a smile on their face. Even before their children were of school age, the Rothmans were always working with us, looking for ways to better the school. Mazel tov, Mr. and Mrs. Levy and Esther Rothman, on this very well-deserved honor. Your dedication to our school is a beautiful example to all of us. May you only have tremendous nachas from all of your beautiful children. Mazel